Two planets, X and Y, are in concentric circular orbits about a star. The radius of orbit of X is R, and the radius of orbit of Y is 2R. And then we're shown that on our diagram as well. We have the radius of this circle is R, and then the biggest circle is 2R. We're then told the gravitational force between X and Y is F when the angle SXY is 90. So this angle is 90, and the force between X and Y in these two positions is F. And then we're asked to work out the gravitational force between X and Y when they are nearest to each other. So if they were nearest to each other, then it could be the case that X is here. And let's just say Y is in the position where it's in right now. So the separation then between the two of them would be R. As we know that this distance here is R and the full distance is 2R, well, R is then just the difference. We're trying to work out what force is. So the equation that we want to be using in this case is F is equal to GMM over R squared. Now the masses are not changing. The mass of X, the mass of Y, they're not changing. So we can therefore say that force is proportional to 1 over R squared. And then we can think about what is the factor by which the distance between the two objects changes from when they're in the position to begin with, so when X is here, Y is here, to the new position that they're in when X is here and Y is there. So we need to see how the distance, the separation between them changes. So this length, the original separation, we can work that out by using Pythagoras' theorem. So the triangle looks like this, where this is a right angle, this is r, this is 2r. So then we can say that this side, which I'll call x, x would be equal to the square root of 2r all squared minus r squared, which will be 4r squared minus r squared, and that is 3r squared. We can also rewrite this as root 3 times r. We can separate the square root into two parts, root 3 and then root r squared. All right, so then the initial separation between them is root 3r, and the new separation is then r. So we start at root 3r, the new separation is r. In order to use this proportionality that we have here, we need to work out the factor change for r. So then when looking at our original value of r and our new value of r, when going from here to here, we're multiplying by 1 over root 3. So in other words, r is getting multiplied by 1 over root 3. And if f is proportional to 1 over r squared, well, that then means that force is getting multiplied by 1 over the factor by which r changes, 1 over root 3, squared. That is the same thing as, if you were to type this in your calculator, that's the same thing as multiplying by 3. So this, this here is just 3. So force is 3 times bigger, and therefore our answer would be B.